Well, hello everybody. It's video time again. Uh, this time I'm going to do a video on this instrument here. This is an HP uh, 3455A digital voltmeter. I've had this thing about a week now. I uh, rescued it from our local electronics store. It had been sitting there for uh, a couple of months. I looked at it a couple of times when I went in and out of there to get a few items here and there. And then here, just last week, I decided to go in and take a look at it. Or at least I stopped in there and I saw it was still there, so I went, okay, I'm going to look at this thing. And overall, it uh, seemed to be in pretty good shape. It uh, even had all, all the HP feet that uh, these things always seem to be missing. And uh, so I powered it on and uh, just did basically just a power on test. And uh, pressed the buttons, they all seemed to work, so... I talked to the guy, and he says, yeah, 90 bucks, and out the door. And I said, sold. So I brought it home, powered it up, ran it through its paces. It uh, seems to work just fine. So I cleaned it up and put it in my uh, my test equipment uh, shelving here. And So I figured uh, it'd be a good time to show you what it can do. And uh, I've got it... Uh, all hooked up to my uh, to my HPIB network here, so we can run it through a couple of paces and uh, and uh, and uh, even plot out a uh, low frequency uh, graph on the uh, on the computer. <clears throat> so one of the things I want to show here is using one of the math functions, the uh, percentage of error function. Now I've got to use these little loads here. I've got a bunch of these. We're going to test these. And compare it against our constant that will be in one of these registers. It'll be in the Y register. So the first thing we want to do is we want to enter the value that we're looking for. So we hit the Enter key for the Y. And we'll enter 50 ohms, which will be 0 0.05 K ohms. And we store that. And now we can go to... We're already in, re in two-wire uh, resistance mode, so we can go to error. And now we'll plug our first load in. And it is uh, about 2.3% uh, high. So we'll take that one off. Here's our next load. And that one's 4.9% high. Another one here. That one's 4.67% high. And another one here. That one's 6.12% high. So they're a little off. So let's try this one. Okay, that one's one point. 8% high, so that's a bit better. Now let's try one of these here. Oh, that one's pretty good. It's only a half a percent high or so. So that resistor is uh, pretty accurate. Or held pretty well. So pretty, in, pretty much in tolerance. And that one's 3.7% high, so most of them are all within five percent, which I think, uh, which is the uh, the resistors that are in these things are either five to ten percent tolerance. So if they're all ten percenters, then they're all within tolerance. So that uh, at least that feature there works great, and uh, this will work for the uh, voltage modes and and all that stuff too. So so that was a cool test. So the next little test here, I want to demonstrate the meter's sampling performance here. It, uh, right now it's sampling at uh, 24 samples a second. I'm sending it a uh, 100 millihertz sine wave, 4 volt peak to peak, from my function generator. And what I'm going to do is that we're going to plot that on the computer using some software called HT Basic. Oh, this phone will... I'm, I don't have any capture software, so this is the best I can do for now. So I'm going to use HT Basic, and we're going to plot a waveform 
using the output from our meter. So we'll take this and we'll start it. And it's just sitting there just charging right along. Uh, this is a uh, you can download HT Basic. Uh, you can download it in a, uh, uh, a trial version. It uh, is pretty much 100% functional, except um, you won't be able to save anything. You'll have to use an external editor if you want to, uh, you know, save your work. And it'll run for 30 minutes before it times out. But all you have to do is just restart the software and uh, keep going. But the code that I used from this, I uh, gleamed from uh, another individual. All I did was modify it to work with my gear. Uh, for the for the most part, it was all, you know, pretty minimal modifications I had to do. But I had to remove a couple of uh, things and add a couple of statements to get it to work with my meter. But it's done. Yeah. So this is kind of a, a fun little thing to do. This. Uh, you now you can just sit there and just recapture it. You can also I can also change. Uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, triangle and the same thing, just up and down. So it's kind of nice to be able to do this kind of stuff. So you can plot voltage changes. Say if you wanted to monitor a power supply for uh, for fluctuations in voltage, you could just make some simple changes in the resolution. And uh, plot changes. It's pretty easy once you understand, you know, the basics of uh, of HT Basic. It uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm sure you know, but there's you know other languages that will do this just as easily. But uh, I've been having a lot of fun with this. So anyhow, it uh, it's a lot of fun. And uh, I was glad I was able to grab this thing it's uh it's been a pretty nice meter now i could do the same thing with the uh i've also got an hp uh 34401a and it can do a lot of the same functions but uh this one here is a little easier to talk to the uh the uh, hp IV, uh command sets a lot easier so anyhow i think that's probably going to be it for now um, I got some other meter projects I'm working on. I got a, an HP 3437. See, it's uh, over there. It's going to be a repair job. It uh, powers up just fine, but it has a common failure with one of the opto isolators, I believe. So I got parts on order, and uh, so we'll see if that fixes the issue. So until then. Uh, happy trails, and uh, I'll see you guys soon.